with slash 86, after the part has been fully recovered onto the adapter, apply 120 seconds of post heat evenly around the moulded part at the adapter end. Take care not to scorch the moulded part. Continue heating along the moulded part, recovering the J-end onto the cable. Ensure the part is fully recovered onto the cable. This should take approximately 30 seconds. For slash 86, after the part has been fully recovered onto the cable, apply 120 seconds of post heat evenly around the moulded part at the cable end. Take care not to scorch the moulded part. Allow to stand for two hours before any aggressive handling. The termination should be subjected to a flex test of 90 degrees in each of four planes around a mandrel with a diameter equal to six times the cable diameter. There should be no separation between the moulded part and cable jacket at the adhesive bond line. Allow to stand for two hours before any aggressive handling. The termination should be subjected to a flex test of 90 degrees in each of four planes around a mandrel with a diameter equal to six times the cable diameter. There should be no separation between the moulded part and cable jacket at the adhesive bond line. 